Today, for the first time in our town's history, our homes and businesses have been threatened by a forest fire in the nearby Pine Woods. However, the fire only lasted a total of 15 minutes before it burned itself out. It came dangerously close to one of the neighborhoods on the south side of the forest, so close that the flowers on the edge of one family's yards began to smoke. It is unknown at this time exactly what caused the fire, but several people have reported a, a party that took place in the clearing, somewhere inside the woods. All have confirmed that the party did in fact have a large bonfire and alcohol was present. Several people are still missing, and one person has been found dead, but the police are not releasing any names right now. The dead man was not killed by the fire, however. He had been stabbed in the chest by a shard of glass from a Budweiser beer bottle. We now go to Lisa Rao, who is with the group of young adults who said they may have seen a killer. Thanks, Tom. Here I have with me the heroic group of people who ventured back into the forest to look for others after escaping the forest fire. Tell me what you saw. Well, we were running through the forest towards the fire when we heard some screaming for help. We found the person in this clear, and I saw she had a broken part of a bottle in her hand. We didn't think anything of it, and we asked her if she was the one we were looking for in the wildfire. She said yes, but then she told us that she didn't think it was a wildfire at all. Before she explained, the fire started burning up all the clearing around us, and my group ran away, thinking that the girl would follow us. But she just stayed there. We found out later that someone died uh, due to some glass. I think it is pretty obvious that the girl killed him. She had long blonde hair and was wearing a blue jacket, some a blue shirt, and dark blue skinny feet. Wow, that was quite a story. Back to you, Tom. Uh, woo! Hello? Where have you been all afternoon? What are you talking about? You told me you would watch your little brother today. He didn't have daycare. Sorry, Mom. I've got a lot on my mind. I guess I forgot about watching Jonathan. Honey, I completely understand. But what you did is still not acceptable. Your grandmother had to drive 20 miles to come and watch him. And you know how I hate when she drives. You better remember to babysit Jonathan tomorrow. It's another day off for him. Okay, I understand. I won't forget, Mom. Bye. Okay, thanks, honey. Bye, Jessica. Yeah. 